Hey guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you my full coverage foundation routine. I have finally found a group of products that I think work really well together and have been working really well to me that I think really create a nice, flawless, full coverage canvas. I obviously don't wear a full coverage look like this every single day, and I feel like in a lot of my makeup videos and get ready with me videos, I kind of fast forward through the foundation process because that's not really like the funnest part to watch. But I really, really, really like the products I have found lately. I think they work really well together, so I felt like this deserved a video of its own. And I'm also showing you my high-end favorite products to use and my drugstore favorite products to use that I think all work really well for this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up for more makeup videos and let me know in the comments down below what you think. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I'm going for a really flawless look is use a color correcting primer. And I like to use a green primer because I have a lot of red in my face and green will cancel out the redness in your skin. So one of my favorites is the Smashbox Photo Finish Color Correcting Adjust. But I actually like even better from the drugstore the NYX CC Cream in the green tint. So um, I'm going to use some of that today. So that's just going to go ahead and even out my skin tone a little bit because even though I'm using a full coverage foundation, I don't want to look cakey because that never looks good. So now I am moving on to a pore filler primer. Yep, I sometimes use two primers because they do different things. So this is just going to make your skin look completely poreless, really smooth, and I think this keeps me really matte throughout the day too. My favorite is the Benefit Porefessional Primer. And a pretty good dupe is the NYX Pore Filler. I personally think that the Pore Professional is a lot better. Like, I definitely notice that it makes my pores look a lot smaller. And it just kind of makes my skin texture look smoother. And um, my skin texture is not perfect, so I definitely need that. So I'm going to apply some of that now. And I have a little scar right here in between my eyebrows, so I like to get the pore filler deep in there too to kind of fill in my scar because sometimes that's noticeable in pictures. Okay, so now that I have reduced the redness in my skin and smoothed it out, it is time for my foundation. My favorite full coverage foundation of lately is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And my favorite drugstore full coverage foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I do think I like the Double Wear Foundation a little bit better. I think it stays better on my skin, but I do like the way this applies better. It's less messy. This gets really messy on me and you can't really control how much you get out of the bottle. But because I think it looks a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and use this today. And I use like a quarter size amount on my hand. And I always apply my foundation with a damp beauty blender. These are my favorite for applying foundation. I just think they really give you like a nice airbrush look. Of course, always bring it down to my neck. It's kind of hard right now because I have a choker on. And if I'm wearing a shirt that shows my chest, I'll just dab anything I have left on the beauty blender on there to make it match a little bit better. And I kind of get redness on my chest too that I need to conceal a little bit. Okay, then it's time for under eye concealer. And my favorite full coverage under eye concealer is definitely the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This stuff like a little bit really goes a long way and it is super full coverage and really long lasting. But I actually really also like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. You guys have probably seen me use this a million times in a million of videos because it's only like $6 at the drugstore. And I actually really like the applicator on this better than this because this is a little pump and I always get way too much out of this. So I'm actually just going to use this today because I don't think I need that much under eye concealer today and I don't want to waste that other stuff. So I always focus on the inner part of my eye and then bring it out because that's just where my eyes are darkest. And this is in the color sand. It kind of has a yellow tint to it, which is also going to be a little bit brightening for the under eye area. 
And then I take the pointed side of my beauty blender and blend that out. And then with whatever is left on the pointed side of my beauty blender, I'm just going to dab in the middle of my forehead and bring it down to highlight a little bit. Okay, then a product I really, really like is this NYX Banana Powder. It's the HD Finishing Powder, and the shade is Banana. So it's a yellow powder, and I know Anastasia also makes a powder like this. I've just never tried it because I really like this version, and it's a drugstore brand, so it's a lot cheaper. So I just use a small brush, and I set my under eye concealer with this. So a yellow powder is just really supposed to brighten up your under eye area. And then for the rest of my face, I like to set it with a mattifying powder because I do have oily skin. My favorite drugstore powder is the Rimmel Stay Matte, and this is a great powder. I really like this. It's like really cheap, like maybe in the $3 zone at the drugstore. Um, and then I also have the Estee Lauder Double Matte Powder that I just bought with the foundation, and I'm just going to use this one today since I have it probably works a little bit better than the other one because it's like 10 times the price, right? But I'm not that sure about that. And I'll put a little on my chest too to blend. So yeah, that is it for my foundation slash base of my makeup. Of course, I usually always add bronzer, blush, eye makeup, eyebrows, and lips to get a complete full look, but that's always changing depending on my mood and whatnot. But this is the base that I've been wearing a lot lately, and I just wanted to share with you guys. Alright guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's helpful to some of you. I really like the way that these products look together, and I hope you guys do too. I hope it works well for you if you try it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any video requests. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!